Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright, and here is your daily stimulus check and second stimulus check and your executive order, action, memorandums, moratoriums, and stimulus package update for Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Does it feel like a Friday? September 18, 2020. Find out how just four states make up nearly a third of those 9 million stimulus checks being sent out by the IRS why a high-ranking White House official is enthusiastic about a stimulus package and where everyone stands on passing a disaster relief bill in the coming weeks. Also, how to get $900 and also how to get $5,000 after this. For the best news and information on how to master your money, treat it better, use it better, and also how to get it, your life and your business, stay tuned to this channel where we're going to constantly scour and dig for stuff to help you out in your life. And guess what? By just putting a comment in the comments, liking and subscribing, you're automatically entered to win $900. And also, I will be giving away $5,000. I'll tell you at the end of this video, but $900 just just for putting a comment, liking and subscribing, and towards the end, I'll tell you about the $5,000 in cash. I'm gonna fly and actually give it to somebody. But first, remember last week when I talked to you about the nine million stimulus checks that are set to disperse on September 24th? Well, there's some good news regarding this $1,200 stimulus check like the checks this big, right? We wish. As just four states make up one third of those nine million direct payments from the good old IRS. I think people will have different feelings about the IRS now, right? Where it used to be that terrifying organization and now it's like the love organization where they just give you money. Yes, right? And don't worry about paying taxes on money you're getting and we'll we'll figure it all out. They're just the lovely letters now. California, Florida, Texas, and New York, I'm sure they'll be back to their regular colors at some point, but California, Florida, Texas, and New York make up a whopping 3,088,572 of the 9 million stimulus checks that were not dispersed to non-filers nearly six months ago. Yeah, it's been that long. (laughs) <laughs> We've been in this craziness, right? That's more than 30% of the stimulus checks going to just four states. Can you imagine that? Just four states and they didn't get it. Can you imagine the impact that would make? The IRS commissioner, Chuck Riddick, I don't want to mess his name up, right? Riddick stated, the IRS continues to work hard to reach people eligible for these payments. Time is running out to claim a payment before the deadline. I wonder if there's going up to people that are on the side of the road with the sign and saying, hey, uh, do you have an address? Probably not. The deadline to register for that $1,200 stimulus check is October 15th. So you got to get on it. Got about a month. So if you never got your first direct payment, you're like, what, 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 what happened to me? Go to the non-filers portal on the IRS website and check if you're eligible, especially if you live in California, Florida, Texas, or New York, if you live from West Coast to the East Coast, we've obviously got problems, right? Meanwhile, the White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows, my man, Mark, remains optimistic that another bipartisan stimulus package will be coming our way soon. God, Mark and Steve just, they got a S and M. Anyway, um, Meadows explained that bipartisan $1.5 trillion problem solver stimulus bill was, quote, very thoughtful and, quote, very meaningful. <laughs> to have both sides working together on a new disaster relief package is like music to our ears, right? But it's funny. They keep changing tunes, right? We don't know what song they're singing. Meadows explained, I've had a number of conversations with Democrats on Capitol Hill. Yeah, that's where they break bread and talk and eat and, yeah, do the mix. They're political charades. Not just the Problem Solvers Caucus, right, Um, but both places he's been to in Capitol Hill. 
I think there's a growing sense that there's still some real need that need to be addressed. And I've tried to express the willingness on behalf of the White House to hopefully address those. That's his quote. So he's like, open arms, ready to give Nancy a hug. Probably can't do that during Corona time. Meadows also noted that Nancy Pelosi's recent comments regarding keeping Congress in Washington were, that's funny, right? Uh, he's got to, we got to throw some mud on this, uh, this comment that she made. He says, another encouraging sign, but promises on air don't necessarily provide real fruit behind closed doors. What do happen? What happens behind those closed doors? You wonder, right? I wish they would record this stuff like YouTube style, right? Just give us the straight scoop. Meadows stated that his ideal timetable for a new stimulus package would be a week to 10 days away. Wow. That'd be before my birthday. My birthday's coming up. 27th. It'll be my birthday. Nine days away. So it could happen. I hope. I hope that would be a great Christmas present, Mark and Steve, if you're listening. For my birthday, not Christmas, for my birthday, I would like uh, a stimulus. Just please pass it for me. I hope that this optimism on another phase four disaster relief bill can continue and we can actually, and we actually do see a new stimulus package before the end of September, especially if they vote for their own stuff to be covered seriously and you don't take care of our stuff and we're running out of unemployment money and everyone spent the 1200 like and we've 60 percent of businesses kaput i hate doing that but yeah right so jobs i mean we need we need a stimulus for sure if you want to keep things the way they are finally with just days left on the congressional calendar right until they once again take some time off, I thought it would be interesting to look at where some of the major negotiations of the upcoming stimulus package stand on getting a complete deal done before they board their private jets, their PJs, to pander for your vote. Yes, they're going to come. They're going to beg you for your vote and tell you all the great stuff they've done, although they haven't, right? Where are you guys? Nancy Pelosi said recently, I quote, we asked them to go up $1 trillion. Instead, they went down, not recognizing the need. She's right about that. They did. And they promised they were going to do more. And they didn't. They went in half. I mean, it's insulting what the last bill was. They, they offered the Heals Act at 1.1. And then next bill that came through was a half a billion dollars. I mean, 500, half a trillion. Are we serious? Like, come on, Republicans. She continued, why can't we spend what it takes to shore up the middle class in our country? I, I could not agree more. The haves have like, un when you look at the disparity of inequity in this country, it is disturbing. And if we end up with switching out of the current system, it's because the haves didn't take care of the middle class. They let the middle class, the people that own the 60% of businesses get wiped out. And where do you think all that business is going to end up going? Probably my neighbor, Walmart, or my other neighbor, all the billionaires in my neighborhood. They'll get propped up. Meanwhile, I'm out for the middle class. And for you, I could care less about the billionaires. I think it's, I think they hoard. I don't think they spread the wealth around. Senator Majority Leader Mitch McConnell recently tweeted, people are hurting. They need help, not speakers, pointless political games. Ooh, strong words, right? Mitch also continued, he's got words these days. If Democrats are afraid their bad ideas could, meet, could never meet the bar, it's now propose, proposals that need to be scrapped, not our country's checks and balances. Okay, that was a little cryptic. By the way, bars are opening in Vegas, so come on down. But the first quote comes from the best one. The best quote comes from my good friend, Steve Mnuchin, the one that signs our dollar bills, right? Our $100 bills, his name is on there. It's just awesome. I wish I had my name on there. That'd be cool. He stated boldly, the president and I believe we should do more stimulus. Okay, 
well, then do it. You guys are powerful. You know, come on. Show us your power. With such strong opinions that both Democrats and Republicans, I just hope that everyone can get on the same page before this month is over and pass some bipartisan stimulus package that delivers much needed financial assistance to millions of Americans. Well, that was your stimulus check. I'm gonna tell you about the 5,000 after this, if you're interested. That was your stimulus check, second stimulus check, and executive action stimulus package update for Friday, September 18, 2020. Thank you so much for watching. So for my people that stayed around this long, you're my crowd. I love you guys so much. The kind of love that I experience from you is the love that I feel from the most important person that's ever existed in my life. And that's my mother. And every single year throughout my life, on my birthday, she gave me $100. So as a result, this was the the last check she wrote. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. At any rate, the, the date is 9-14-2018. She passed away two years ago from lung cancer. And this year would have been $5,000. $100 a year for my whole life. She did nothing but give, 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 give. And I thought about today, I've paid people more than I've made I've generated for people more money than I've ever collected and that I want to give you everything that I have, which is why I'm up at six o'clock in the morning and work until 10 o'clock at night because I actually care. So I want to give you $5,000 on my birthday, hit a hundred thousand subscribers. I know that sounds like a stretch, but it's not. We get so many subscribers that subscribe every day. And my mom, she's not mediocre. She would say, you know, you need to hit 100,000. So if we hit 100,000 subscribers and you're part of that, you put a comment down below, you like and you subscribe. I'm going to get on a plane and I'm going to fly to wherever you are. I'm going to take $5,000 cash and I'm going to put it in your hand if you're a random comment. And it's going to come from every single dollar that my mom gave me. And it's going to be your responsibility to do something good with it. I'm Andrew Cartwright. I love you.